Uh, hello. All right, that was a little acoustic, but I think it's time to go over what you came for. The next update, and we finally got a new seven day notice. So let's go over everything you missed and everything you should be excited for. Bruh. Yeah, this is the announcement. I don't think you really want to read it though. Me neither. And for that reason, we're just gonna go straight to city. And while we're making it there, make sure to please join my Discord. I don't know if the link's working or not. If the link is not working, please tell me in the comment section. So the announcement basically states that everything is going to be changing in a rapid form as much as my arms are, to the point where, um, hopefully this doesn't happen, but there's gonna be these cosmetics leaving, that bundle leaving, and more importantly, this flashback leaving. So if you wanted any items or you haven't been on the game lately, you have till next Friday. These ones right here will all be leaving. Leaving, um, including this beautiful badge that is free, and I love it. All oh, these April shower cosmetic flashback, cosmetic flashback, cosmetic. I'm I'm a broken record. And uh, these flashbacks, I really like the umbrellas. I might have to get one. Oh, and Elvis Mesley. If you still want to be a Leaf Ninja Warrior, then your only chance to get it is right here. Thirty dollars? Are you serious? But don't worry, none of these basic cosmetics will be leaving. I don't know why they would be. That was random. Also, the daily tea has not moved at all, so I don't know if it's gonna change or anything like that. Probably not, though. But what you should expect to see is the new Wild West flashback, or just Wild West. It was in the update last year, and for those of you wondering what the update was last year, it was a revamp. And what revamp was it? The Kenya's revamp. I'm talking about this map right here. Last year, they made it so that there was new ropes, bridges, vines, and just about anything you could imagine. Uh, before that, Canyons was pretty basic and boring but now it's gotten a lot better progressively and they've changed things over the years and maybe this year there'll be a new revamp probably not on canyons they'll probably just have some decorations to celebrate a one-year anniversary of, uh, an anniversary of this amazing revamp this is one of their best revamps in my personal opinion so yeah basically the gist of it is they're gonna be giving us the items that came out during this time last year those items consisted of cowboy hats cowboy suits cowboy this cowboy that and cowboy <laughs> so i'm excited to see what they do for revamps, but I think one thing they should start to think about is a better caves revamp. I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, they won't be changing the secret map, so if you don't like this new mines one, just don't go down there. The next time they'll be changing that is not next Friday, but the Friday after that, so two weeks from now. This rocket, I'm telling you guys, they have put a curse on my Gorilla Tag account. It just does not launch for me, and it will. I don't believe you guys, okay? This rocket does not launch. It's stationary. I obviously, I do wish that they could change the secret map like every week until we finally get the space update, which I honestly, at this point, I, I'm still hopeful, but our chances are getting lower and lower by the day, which kind of makes me sad, but at some point they will have to do it. They're gonna run out of ideas, right? Right, another axiom? They also made a mistake originally with this new secret map, saying that it was the OG caves, but what they meant by that, it was, a, it was a beta tester for the OG caves, so it was actually a map before OG OG caves. This is making no sense. Uh, so people came on the game getting excited and hyped that it was OG caves, when in reality it was some random tester map, and it's kind of mid, not gonna lie. Um, so what would I like to see, personally? I'd like to see space, space maps, but pace poop map that's probably not gonna happen secondly i'd like to see some new cosmetics yet again probably not gonna happen it will be the flashback ones though so those will be kind of nice to see again and you know maybe they'll like spice things up like maybe bring the volcano back or something just do something interesting that's, that's what i like to see out of the game i get on on friday and there's gonna be like a bunch of new interesting things i don't know about you guys what would you like to see tell me down below uh for this rest of the video i'm just gonna be yapping about past future and present updates um so the first thing i'd like to yap about is as always the clouds map this thing is actually apparently now the biggest map to ever touch Gorilla Tag's game. It is giant. Uh, this map is actually one of my favorites I've ever played on. And the reason being because there's so many new mechanics that are used by players and there's no broken methods. There's nothing that's like annoying to play against. And it's just a well-balanced map in my opinion. Now, I think that the reason Forest is so well-liked is because first off, it's very, very OG, right? Everyone knows that. But secondly, because it's just a very well-made map. So yes, one, it is very OG. But second, it's because they just made it very, very well-liked. There's nothing too overpowered about it. You just have to get good at it. Same with clouds try to strive for maps that are as good if not better than forest every time they update instead of beta tester maps like what is this new mines map i'm not trying to diss on them but like i just don't think they're putting enough effort into the um secret map that's what people get on hoping there's going to change every update and i know that i should not be dissing them they made like 30 mil in two years that they were on app lab so no i'm not saying that they suck at what they do definitely do not they are actually the most popular vr game to ever exist and for that reason i think that they earned it but what they need to start doing is stop being so lazy with the secret map 
and I know it may be easier said than done. With what they've done in their game so far, I don't think it's impossible, to be honest with you. If you're wondering what my favorite update ever was, I don't know. To be honest, when City came out, that was a pretty bang- that was a banger update, because originally it was just Hat Room and Forest, and then they changed it to, like, a city environment, and that thing was kind of sick. But my favorite update, actually, so far, unless I'm forgetting a couple that were really good, was most likely either the beach update or this update. The reason the beach update was so good is because it was a new biome, very bright, uh, very positive, there was water physics, uh, I think they added- that was the first time they added ropes that you could, like, go on and escape your opponents on, and I really like, uh, how you can, like, go onto the coral. Now, the reason I think that the clouds revamp is probably my favorite update is because of how much game-changing things they added to it. Like, this right here is one of the main reasons I like Gorilla Tag now. If it wasn't for this glider that I hold in my ha very hands, I would not be playing as much as I do. I've been getting on Gorilla Tag lately almost every day, and I've been making less videos, which makes almost no sense, and I know that you're used to seeing me post content. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make- I'm trying to make myself unique. I know you may hate me for me doing update videos. I've always really strived to be someone who updates people on games, and you may be thinking it's just for money. It never has been for me. I just really like informing people what the next update is going to be, conspiring for what it's going to be. If you've ever watched Top 5 Gaming, similar sort of videos as I do, uh, but he just does it on a different game. I've always watched him, and I thought he did it. what he did was very cool, and he made update videos. I don't think it needs to be like a hated genre. I think it actually brings overwhelming hype to the game, lots of new players, and lots of new fans. So I don't think it's a bad thing for people to be doing. And I never actually originally started just doing update videos. I was originally doing like random videos here and there, but then I realized if you want to get good on this platform, here's some tips for you guys. You have to center in on a certain niche. So with me, it was these videos that you're watching right now. And sometimes they don't perform well, but that is perfectly fine. I'm still enjoying making them, making the thumbnails, editing, do it all myself. What you what do you like doing? Because you don't want this to feel like a full-time nine to five job. You want it to feel like just a fun hobby. And that's what it is for me. You may think I'm just doing it straight for the money, but I actually really enjoy making content. I've been doing it for a while. I've had different channels, not on Gorilla Tag, but just different channels uh, that did decent. I just don't have them anymore. I wish I did. I find that YouTube's funny with that. They like take down channels for like n sometimes no apparent reason. And my first ever video on this channel that actually did good wasn't Gorilla Tag, kind of uh, contradicting what I just said, but Gorilla Tag actually built me off of that. My most famous short was Gorilla Tag, um, and then my most famous video has been Gorilla Tag so far. And I think uh, this fan base and just this game will continue to evolve. But as of now, I'm just trying to enjoy myself, uh, get through high school. Uh, uh, this was a big yap. I am sorry for it. If you stuck all the way to the end, you are an absolute legend. And if you did, then here's a secret thing to comment. I want you to comment buttery popcorn. Uh, it's just really good. I like it. And also, no one's just gonna randomly type that. So I'll know that if you stayed to the end of the video, you typed it. Thank you all for sticking around this long. As always, I hope you'd enjoy. And I will see you all later.